When a Pokémon evolves, it becomes a stronger, better version of itself. Usually. But sometimes, instead of doing that, they just find friends. And this happens more often than you'd think. Kanto easily has the most prominent examples in Magnemite and Diglett. They just get two more of themselves while also weighing a couple dozen times more. When Applin evolves into Diplin, there's another worm in there. The head belongs to one and the tail belongs to the other. Mind you, the tail one's hardly participating in battle. I guess it's just hanging out in there. And of course, there's Hydrapple, comprising of seven different serpents. Which means technically it's not really a Hydra. Beldum evolving into Matang might not seem like a case of this at first, but look at the arms. Those are two Beldum. Then Metagross has four, and then its mega form calls in the whole extended family. Look at the back. Barnacle on its own is pretty self-explanatory. Two barnacles on a rock. I guess that would make this monocle. Then Barbaracle's composed of seven of these quote-unquote monocles. So why isn't this called, I don't know, heptical? Tandem House is really strange. There's nothing biologically forcing them to stay together, and yet they're never separate. And then Mousehold mysteriously introduces one or two children to become part of this one creature? How did they get there? I don't know!